Hi, my name is Akash Verma and I'm here to talk about algo trading. This conversation and the entire series is focused on how can you leverage technology to build your own trading platform and start firing trades algorithmically. Let's get started. The platform that we are going to use is called Smart APIs and that is powered by Angel One. It's a very API intensive platform and offers multiple capabilities in terms of integrating with different programming language. You get APIs free of cost and it has SDKs that you can leverage, put it into your code and start to interact. In this video series, we will walk you through scratch and talk about how Angel One Smart APIs can help you get login into your trading platform. How can you connect to the broker? How can you, you know, automate your trades by executing strategies and identify the buy sell decisions and put them finally on the platform. We will discuss about cash, delivery, options, all of those different kinds of trades possible. We will be touching upon market data, how to get historical feeds and everything that is needed to get a trading platform up and running. To gain a deep understanding, please watch the series in sequence. And if you have liked this series of content, like, comment and subscribe. Let's continue. This video is all about interacting and connecting to the Smart API platform using Python. There are four essential pieces that we want to talk about in this video. And all of these are from scratch. So number one, we'll set up the environment, download and install a bunch of softwares, primarily Anaconda to get a Python installation and do some configuration inside it. Additionally and optionally, if you are comfortable with using Git, you can download it too and we'll look through that. Then we'll move on to the Python SDK installation and setup, setting up the Anaconda environment, Jupyter and all of that. Then we'll move on to connecting the account to the SDK using the libraries provided by Angel One, And finally, we'll execute a login functionality and generate a simple token. All right, let's dive into it. So Anaconda is an installation or a software provider, essentially that can give you the software ecosystem of Python bundled. Using it, you can manage Python distribution, various distribution and different packages so that they run in isolation within your system. To download Anaconda, go to anaconda.com, click on free download, skip registration, or if you're interested, you can register it there and download the most relevant version for your operating system. It has availability for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I have a Mac laptop. So this is what I have downloaded on my laptop. All right, so if we just click how Anaconda runs. We will just walk you through the installation. I'll try to do a simulation. So click continue, accept, keep moving forward, agree to the commands, and then you might get an option of, in and for Windows, it's the same, install for all users or install to on a specific disk. I am going to install for all users. This installation is a little heavy. It could take few minutes of installation. So what I have done is I have pre-installed this, but the steps are the same click install, it will ask for software password and then it will go on in the installation mode. I am going to click cancel at this stage because I already have this installed. Once you are complete with installation, it doesn't need anything. You are free to register to Anaconda, log in so that you can sync up environments later, but that's an optional feature. Continue and close. It is giving me a installation failed. However, that's all right. Once you have finished installation, you should have something like an Anaconda Navigator in your system. This is a GUI based environment and interface that can help you work with Python and a lot of different tools that are necessary for working with apps like Smart APIs or building your own code base or connecting to some kind of an API. All right. So the first thing we need to do is go to Environments tab we need to search for different environments. By default, you will get a base under bracket root environment. What we need to do is we need to click create and select angel one or give it any other name. In this case, I'm going to call it angel one one because I already have that name already defined. You can select the Python version 
ideally you should go for something like 3.10 or if you are not watching this video if you are watching this video a little late whatever is the latest you can run maybe one version or two version behind for maximum compatibility of libraries click create it should be pretty quick operation it will take probably 30 seconds to create an environment and what it is doing is it is creating a virtual environment for you to work now a virtual environment is like think of it as a room that has a certain version of python you can have different rooms with running different kind of python versions if you so desire if you are using a you know library that is version specific for building your strategies and that is definitely possible when you go to the new environment just click this plus button it will give you two options open terminal or open with python we don't need to do that we need to go to home select that one by default and you should install something like a jupyter lab or jupyter notebook i would suggest to install jupyter lab once you do jupyter lab installation what will happen is it will create an interactive computing environment for you which is a notebook based environment and we'll see how that looks once the installation is done you are absolutely free to just click launch and work with it we can click launch button and start to work with it all right once we do a launch it will take me to code which i'll come back in a minute so this is all ready to use and we can just get started with it now the next set of actions that are possible that might be required is the first command i have is git clone so let's talk a little bit about git now a lot of you or some of you might know what github is github is essentially a version control system that can help you keep record of your software of your code and help you save it there version control it. what is version control let's say you have made some changes and you want to save that and then you keep on working on your code for two three days and you are keeping on saving it every single day what git allows you to do is go back in time and look for the specific change you made in case you want to revert or in case you want to you know see something if you keep on overwriting your change your ability to look back at the previous code reduces or vanishes in some cases which is why version control is highly recommended all right in order to install git you can use a multiple there's there's a lot of variants of git essentially the most basic version is git-scm.com you can download git and basically once you go to the download button this is the website you click download button it will give you all the different download options available and the way it works is you go to terminal and type git it should start to show you some of these options there aren't any uh, commands that i'm executing right now it's basically a command line tool additionally what you can do is i will close this you can download something like github desktop which is a completely gui based tool and you will be able to see something like what you see on the screen which is more or less it will show you visually what has changed in that code which is very easy to work with i suggest you download this as well now once you have downloaded and set up git and the way to validate git is pretty simple just you know type git in a terminal and it should work we should we are pretty much set from an installation perspective so let's go back and see what we have done we have finished the first part downloaded a bunch of softwares and installed them we are now moving forward to python sdk installation and connecting your account to sdk both of them are you know in a very straight flow so what angel one has done is they have created a library or a github repository to help us out and the repository is called smart api hyphen python you can get this code in a variety of ways this is a boilerplate code and what boilerplate code really means is it's like a template you can use it to get started all right you can click on the code button there's multiple ways you can get this you can you know you can even download a zip file and it will ask you where to save it that's one way if you don't want to use git this is a very straightforward way to do it alternatively it will allow you a bunch of other options like ssh github cli the most simplest of ways is this you just go to https click the copy button so that you copy the entire url it's important to copy the entire url by the way if you have already installed github desktop you can even click this and it will just connect and open github desktop in your 
laptop all right and it will show you what that is it is giving me an option to clone and all that so the moment i click clone it will clone the smart api i'll just continue and i am at smart api code base. so that's also another way so git gives you multiple ways and you can interact with the repository multiple ways using the id you are comfortable with using the coding environment or code editor you are comfortable with. all right let's move forward so the jupyter environment that we had created was this and basically i am right now sitting in the angel one new environment which i created and this is what i have additionally what i am trying to do is i am trying to do a git clone here now once when i am doing a git clone i will move over to the code base where i have this so this is a code base i had downloaded this file before but i have renamed it backup so there's nothing called as smart api hyphen python remember the name of the repository will be created as a folder so the moment i go here the moment i open this code base this is a blank jupyter notebook that i've just created you can click on file click new and it will give you this note something like a blank notebook so the first command you run is you go to the smart api you have the requirement installation but before this you need to download this repo which is what i'm trying to simulate and show so you run this and it will okay it says it already exists sorry i'll delete this and maybe run this once again so the moment i do that it will clone it and create a smart api python now inside it will be the same code that we have just seen online moving forward then there are some files inside this which we need to install let me so there are some files which are available like requirements hyphen dev which is what we want to install so you just copy this command which is pip sorry which is pip install hyphen r requirements underscore dev dot text go to jupyter lab make sure you are under the folder by typing the folder name before and doing a slash alternatively you can create a jupyter inside that or move this file whatever works so you do a pip install and you just run this so it is going to give you a bunch of different installations depending on the operating system you might have some packages which are pre-installed you might have some packages that are new you might have to accept certain parameters and things like that at the end you should get a successful message what is inside this development file there are a bunch of software packages that are required as you can see there's like 31 dependencies what are these dependencies these dependencies are what smart api from angel one uses internally to work and we don't need to get into you know absolutely low level details about it it's absolutely fine to move forward right so now what have we done we have reached this stage of python sdk installation and setup and now we are trying to connect to the account okay one before i move forward there is a dependency called log zero so if you are getting some sort of an error during installation you might want to check what packages are causing that error and installing them separately there are instances depending on what sort of os you work with and what sort of environment or python version you have worked with created it can cause some compatibility challenges so you have to figure that out and fix that error in case you get it for most of the users this there should be no error all right in case there are errors by the way you can comment and our team will write back to you so now that we have completed the installation of libraries and work through the packages we need to install let's move further the step and what we now want to do is connect to the account through the sdk and execute a login functionality to do this we need to perform a series of actions within the smart api portal so log into your smart api portal through a simple registration process if you have not already done that and we need to do two things here the first is we need to enable a totp which is transactional otp put in your angel one client id and the pin and you will be able to get to a totp which will be a code all right the next step is we need to create an api app which will be used to connect to your system in order to create an app you just click create an app select trading publisher historical data or a market feed api we can use a trading api so select the trading api give it a name like testing one two three make sure you give a meaningful name because it's very relevant 
to the kind of operation you are doing. Maybe you have different apps for different kind of strategies and things like that. Give it a redirect URL. You can have something like a local host. You can even put a random value. Like I think even google.com should be able to work. So yeah, you can put a value that just works. Click OK. And what you should get is a new app created, which is like a testing one, two, three, trading and the API key. So we need to copy this API key and make sure we use this in the code and I'll show where to put that. All right, so this is the kind of stuff you need to do. So the first step that we did just to a few minutes back was installation of the requirements file. Then the way you go is you call the package imports, you put your API key, username, password, and then you execute the functionality smart connect. Now what smart connect does is it executes a bunch of operations behind the scene and automatically collects through the APIs, which are powering the SDK to Angel One platform to give you some set of operations. What are those APIs? In case you are interested in seeing a lot of detail, you can click on API documentation and it will take you through a variety of details. You can go to the Python library, which will land you to the same place, or you can just keep on going down the page and it will show you all the response structures you need to know, every other parameter that is needed is very well documented, including all the codes, for example, the user login that we are going to do. That's what is happening right now. So this is the kind of operation that we are executing, which is client code, password, TOTP. And this is the kind of response we should be getting. Let's test this. All right, coming back here. So all we need to do is go to my APIs, copy the testing one, two, three API key and put it in the code. So I will put the API key right now. I will be deleting it after the video. So I have the API key. I have my username. I have my pin. And then what I need to do is start executing. So the moment I execute the smart connect, it will give run. Then I need to run this. Then I need to run smart connect. And it says smart connect in pool. So once I move forward and run this, like get the data, I should get something like this. So it shows a success where I have been successfully connected to the platform. This shows my ID, shows the active exchanges and all of the other details that I have access to. All right. So that's it from this video. If you have questions, please, please make sure to put in a comment, like the video, share it across your fellow traders so that the knowledge is spread. Make sure to watch the video series in sequence so that you get the best advantage. Until next video. Bye bye. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.